The Dutch cycle more than any other nation in the world. Almost 900 kilometers per person. But that also means we have 350,000 bike-related injuries. Now imagine that we would make biking safer, smarter and easier by applying self-driving technology to biking. We taught our self-driving bike to figure out where it is, what's around it, what will happen next, and what it should do. We leaned on Google's expertise in self-driving cars, but we had to adapt the technology to work on a bike. We decided to add two additional features. First, you can request the bike to pick you up wherever you are, and we developed a comfort mode, adjusting the pedals to a perfect resting position. I think the self-riding bike could really give a boost to the economy, because people could also work uh, on their bicycle. You work in your office, you work in your home, you work in your car, you could even work on your bike. I have so much more time. My kids love it. They're just free, they can go anywhere they want, any time they want. It's amazing. At the Fietsersbond we feel that this is the biggest invention since the invention of the bicycle itself. At Google we always put our users first. With the launch of this bike we believe we do that again. I'm going to show you a new Android application that's been developed through our translation technology. Our new app, Google Translate for Animals, translates animal speech into human vernacular. The handset records the animal sounds and then transmits them to our server, where the speech recognition and translation engines analyze the neurobiological acoustics. The voice recognition software then checks itself against the millions of sounds in our animal linguistic database and produces a translation in plain English. Let's see how Google Translate for Animals works. I activate the Translate app. As you can see, there's a large range of animals to choose from. I choose pig. Then I make a recording. See here, it transcribes it, but if I push the speaker button, we can actually hear what Bella said. New person. Smells good. That's amazing. Let's find out what's on Donna's mind. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> to get Google Translate for Animals, go to Android Market and search Translate for Animals. Hi, my name is Ben Segura, and I'm on the Google Fiber team. We have heard a lot of rumors that we've been building a fiber optic network that will deliver internet speeds 100 times faster than most Americans have access to today. And while we are humbled by these speculations, we have focused our efforts on developing a different kind of fiber, Google Fiber. Here at Google, we try to solve big problems using technology. We have done everything from building self-driving cars to developing street view technology. We strive to use the advances of technology to help our users live better and more effective lives. However, we have seen an even bigger problem when it comes to our bodies, as we still rely on outdated sources of fiber and nutrients to give us energy, help our intestinal and colon efficiency, and sustain us throughout our busy lives. Prior to Google Fiber, I never felt like I came close to my full athletic potential. I was sluggish and tired. Now, I'm racing, winning, and feeling great. This is not just fiber. It's Google Fiber. Four short weeks after eating the Google Fiber bar, the bar actually can take feedback from the body, determine which nutrients are needed, and target delivery to the specific organs that need those nutrients.
Google has revolutionized preventative healthcare. Washington, you have to take a look at this. We have spent a long time perfecting Google Fiber and are excited for its potential to positively impact the health of our users. It's not just vitamins, and it's not just fiber. It's Google Fiber, and it's like nothing else out there. Let us help you make the most of your health, one bite at a time. For more information about how to get your very own supply of Google Fiber, please visit www.google.com forward slash fiber. It's Fiberlicious. At Google Fiber, we are passionate about bringing our users super fast internet and ubiquitous connectivity. But as we rolled out in Kansas City, and then in Provo, and then again in Austin, we realized that there was something that we had overlooked. People didn't have enough time to do the little things in life. We hear you. You want a chance to grab a snack, to text your mom, to run to the restroom. So today, we are excited to announce Dial-Up Mode, a way for our users to get their time back. We look to Dial-Up and T1 for inspiration, and we found a solution of all places in meditation. Once we got to the root of the problem, it was easy. By incorporating dial-up technology into the fiber, we were able to slow the photons down by 376 times, give you more time to load the dishwasher or hug your kids. It turns out there is power in slowness. Switching to dial-up mode is easy. Just select dial-up mode at the top right corner of your browser. Once selected, close your eyes and relax to the soothing, familiar sounds of a 56K modem. Dial-up mode has really benefited my work life. I video conference for work, and last time my boss asked me a tough question, and I was totally caught off guard. Now when faced with a tough question, I just turn on dial-up mode. My face gets all pixelated, my voice goes in and out, and they just reschedule the meeting. I love dial-up mode. Before dial-up mode, everyone was glued to their devices. Now we can have family time again. <laughs> I call it dial-up and hug. I've never felt more loved. When trial with our trusted testers in Kansas City, we noticed three times more calls to grandma, 10 times more hugs, and 15 times the amount of popcorn consumed per household. We are encouraged by early results, and we're excited to see what you do with dial-up mode. So what are you waiting for? Dial-up and hug. Gmail Blue was part of the initial conception for Gmail when it was launched. At the time, the technology was simply not there. The culture of Google really is to incorporate moonshot thinking to every project. It's taken us six years to develop the technology to achieve Gmail Blue. Our major challenge was, how do we make this intimate, intuitive, realistic, and organic? In trying to bring email into the 21st century, uh, we are faced with a challenge. How do we completely redesign and recreate something while keeping it exactly the same? The answer is Gmail Blue. You click on Compose, the button Compose, blue. The word Compose itself, blue. Boldface is blue, underline is blue. Italics is blue as well. You write in the body of the email, the font comes up blue. You don't have to make it blue, it is blue. It just is blue. The little lines, they're in blue. When you go into help, it's blue. It's Gmail, only bluer. We experimented with a lot of different colors. We tried orange, brown. Brown was a disaster. We tried uh, yellow. The inspiration of blue came from nature. Ocean, sky, uh, blue whales. A blue that was reminiscent of nature, but better than what nature created. Gmail blue is, uh, it just opens a lot of doors that haven't been opened before. I think the first thought that's gonna to come to the end user's mind is I can't believe I waited this long for this. With Google Express, we're constantly looking for ways to improve home delivery. Like everyone in our industry, we were intrigued by the idea of drones. But we also asked ourselves, what if there's another way? Drone technology is exciting, but it's not ready. And that's when the breakthrough happened. 
an autonomous delivery service that not only brings our users packages, but also brings them joy? The answer, parachutes. We're proud to announce the launch of Parachutes by Google Express. Quiet, reliable, gentle. They're the perfect marriage of form and function. This parachute technology is going to change the way we think about parachute technology. People only know what they see in TV and movies, but it's not all shouting Geronimo and barrel rolls. It's science. Our controlled hover utilization team of engineers, researchers, and scientists spent years developing the parachute's function, from the apex vent to the suspension lines to the canopy gores. But the question remained, does it actually work? The answer is yes, beautifully. Google Express has always been about delivering people the things they need from the stores they love. With Parachutes by Google Express, our users are constantly connected. From placing an order, to tracking delivery, to the moment they catch the package out of the sky. Delivering you the things you need when you need them. And forget the obstacles of ground delivery. With Parachutes, you can receive deliveries anytime, anywhere. Parachutes are a lot like mines. They work best when they're open. How do we get the parachutes into the air? We use drones.